Hey, what's up guys? Welcome Daily Theologians, where we equip and inspire you to share hope on this channel. And today I wanted to talk about the looming threat of inflation. Now, are burrito prices any indicator that prices and inflation is going to happen here in the US? Well, let me explain. When you flood the bank system, the, the treasury system with money, and you print a lot of money, what happens to the money you're currently holding? Well, typically the value of that money will decrease because of the supply of money that has increased. Now, it's no surprise to anyone watching this that we have flooded the supply of money into the economy in order to keep it afloat. And the other thing that we've done, and the focus of today's article from the guys at Daily Wire, is actually the price of burritos. And you think, burritos? Well, normally uh, when you measure inflation, it's based on a, a basically the cost of a basket of goods. It's measured, I believe, out of the University of Michigan <clears throat> from Ohio. But uh, it, it measures the, the standard price increase of items that you'll never buy for the most part. Um, but basically, when you look at common daily items like food, that could have an effect on everyday people. And in fact, it is starting to have an effect. The menu prices, in order to counteract the $15 minimum wage increase, uh, have gone up by 4%. And customers are also notice, noticing something strange. Uh, they're saying, uh, that the the portion size of the burritos is getting smaller. They say something strange is happening at Chipotle, at least according to dozens of social media posts. The outlet reported customers have taken to Twitter to show the off tiny serving sizes, small burritos. People use dollar bills, rulers, and even beer cans for reference to the shrinking portion size. So what's happening at Chipotle? Well, aside from going off the rails completely with their burrito bowl lineup, which I, I'm never going to eat there again. Sorry, you lost me. I loved your guacamole, but you went crazy. Uh, the, the issue here though, is inflation will have an impact on people, but so what can we do? What's the solution? Well, one thing you can do is just spend less money. Now I know if everyone spent less money and nobody borrowed, the whole economy would crash because it's built and, uh, greased by the wheels of debt. But you know what? Most people aren't going to do that. Most people are going to spend more than they make and continue to go around and around on the hamster wheel. So uh, what you can do to stop this burning, inflating dollar bill is to just save, pack your lunch, uh, don't spend as much. Most of the goods that people talk about during inflation really wouldn't have a huge impact on you unless you're highly leveraged. If you have uh, adjustable rate uh, mortgages, that's a huge risk because if, if that goes up and you have a house on that, well, you could be in big trouble. Again, this is not financial advice, but it is potentially a looming threat for people that are over leveraged. And if the bank looks at that and, and calls that in, that's what you what happened to Dave Ramsey. So don't be over leveraged. But uh, should inflation concern us? Well, I think it always should. You don't want to erode future purchasing power and you don't want uh, to see things go way up like they did uh, in times past. But the cost of a burrito, 4% increase, it's going to cost jobs. It's going to cost uh, customers. It's going to cost everybody because you can't just magically increase the rate of burritos and expect people to continue to buy those. It's, it's not going to happen. It's called price elasticity. It, the, the demand for the burrito will go down. And this is just basic economics. But when you have people in place that don't understand that and they, they want to blame and they want to get votes based on saying, well, you're a victim. Well, don't work there. Get uh, What were your standard of living? Increase the number of hours you work. Do something to not have to work at a $15 an hour place slinging burritos. Those are entry level jobs for a reason. They're meant for people to learn a skill, demonstrate dependability, show some work ethic, and then get through school or whatever. But they're not meant to be uh, you know, your long term source of income. Uh, so that being said, I know that's a bit of a uh, financial rant on inflation, but ultimately this is what happens when you artificially constrain the market and you and you force it to comply with a minimum wage that you shouldn't. You should let the market dictate the rate that people are willing to pay their employees. They don't want to work there. They don't have to work there. Uh, there are other places and things they can do, especially with all of the uh, gig economy and things like that happening now. There are many options for people, but most people want to blame somebody else and they don't want to take responsibility for their own actions. So I would encourage you to not worry too much about inflation, but it is a real factor. Um, again, not financial advice, but if you're in a highly leveraged position with debt outstanding on adjustable rate interest rates on houses and many houses and a lot of the guys that I see on YouTube that have multiple houses, they're in big trouble because they will get crushed if inflation happens because interest rates will go through the roof. Anyways, uh, the, the core issue here, though, 
It's not inflation. We know that that riches don't last, that they'll fade, but it's the word of God that endures forever. We know that uh, if our trust is in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus, that lasts forever and it will never fade. So that's where our hope has to be. That's where we have to look during times like this. And we can't be uh, you know, nervous about the day-to-day -day things like inflation. Hopefully this helps. If it did, please remember to take a minute and hammer that like button like the 95 Theses. And if you haven't yet, come on, what you're doing? Subscribe to the channel. You just made it five and a half minutes on a burrito and an inflation thing. So hopefully helpful. Again, not financial advice, but uh, you know, it is helpful to think about these things. So thanks for watching and God bless.